Member for Richmond South Centre. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. And I'm going to be joining the previous member and also echoing her comment as well. November 25th is the UN recognized International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women and the start of a 16 day of activism against gender based violence. The campaign runs until December 10th, which is International Day of Human Rights. Gender based and sexualized violence too often impact women, <coughs> girls, two spirited, transgender, non binary, and other gender diverse people with devastating and long lasting impact. In our province, gender based violence is also compli complicated by numerous barriers and stigma. And unfortunately, gender based violence still exists today. Our provincial government is committed to helping and end gender based violence, and we partner with community organizations, advocacy groups, sexual assault centers, victim services, and physician houses to support victims and their communities with professional care and compassionate support. Some actions of our government has taken so far. Provide paid leave for people facing domestic violence, sexual or sexual violence. Undertake consultation regarding the non-consensual disclosure of intimate image. Starting next year, an additional $10 million annually will be provided to establish stable funding for sexual assault centers. We are providing an annual funding to support 400 victim services and violence against women program across the province. Our government is also investing $734 million over 10 years to build and operate 1,500 transition housing, second stage housing, and long term housing spaces for women and children fleeing violence. If you know someone you know is being abused, or if you have concerns about someone's safety, please call or text Victim Lake BC through its toll free number. 24-7, confidential, multilingual, telephone services at 1-800-563-0808 or by email victimlinkbc at bc211.ca. Anyone who is in danger should call 911. Ending gender-based violence will require all of us working together. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.